back out here at the D3Hoops.com Classic in Las Vegas, Nevada for 2021. We expected to have 19 teams and 19 of these interviews. I don't know how we would have gotten them all done. Uh, we'll have nine of them, and now we're joined by Raul Placeres, head coach at Maryville. His team victorious in the first game of this tournament, their first game of this tournament, 74-68 over Pacific Lutheran. And uh, well, first of all, like I was saying before we started, we're really glad you're here because not everybody, we can't say the same about everybody who was supposed to be here. Yeah, we were just very, you know, thrilled that, um, you know, you guys put this together, you know, uh, Sports Tour invited us and gave us the invitation to come. You know, it's a first class event. You guys do a great job for Division Three basketball. And, you know, we're just very, very um, blessed to be here and, and the teams that are here. You know, I know for some of the teams it was unfortunate that they couldn't make it, um, but there'll be many other tournaments and hopefully we can continue to grow this um, bigger and bigger because these D3 student athletes really deserve, um, you know, something, this, this beautiful experience that, that we are experiencing this week. I mean, team from Tennessee, team from Washington State, right? You almost have to come to Las Vegas. It's almost halfway in between, right? Yeah, you know, and, and that's what's great about uh, about this, this this experience is being able to play teams that you you don't have, you know, the means on a regular basis to be able to, to do. So, uh, you know, tough team in Pacific Lutheran who plays in a really good league in the West Coast with, with Whitman and Whitworth and those guys. So um, for us, you know, this is what we wanted. We wanted to test ourselves in non-conference, and, you know, we'll, we'll continue to do that um, as long as I'm, I'm the head coach at, at the college. I don't think any of us uh, will, you know, will forget Felix Uadale anytime soon. That was an impressive performance. I think officially right seven of eleven shooting. I don't remember him missing four shots. I don't know when that happened. He's, he's really good, man, and and as good as the players he is, he's, he's an exceptional human being, you know. And uh, you know, great production today from him and Nicholas Clifton um, with double doubles and Miles Raznick again. Um, just so efficient for a wing. Um, he had 20 points. Um, shame on me for leaving him in there with, with foul trouble. Um, if not, he probably has even a bigger game. But, you know, overall, again, another team victory, another team we have held under 70 points. Uh, and, and that's really important to us. Um, it gives you a really good chance to win games when you can hold people under 70. And I heard you talking to your SID, right? Your magic formula is... It was 45% from the floor, yeah, 35. 45, 35, 70. We, we didn't do it today from the three-point line. We were close, and that's why the game was so close. But typically when we're 45, 35, 70, you know, we're winning 85, 90% of our games. And when, you got to win the rebounding battle. You know, four to eight is the margin you look for um, to be able to win games consistently. And, you know, we did that somewhat today and you know but it's man it's a good win whenever you win in, in this type of environment and with everything that's going on right now in today's world um, just really proud of our guys and our institution for allowing us to do this I, I think especially that latter part so as I know not everybody as it turned out was allowed to be able to do so um, talking about distractions right I mean obviously everybody's had to be real flexible over the course of the entire season and last season that partial season that we played um, you know do the do the guys worry about that you know you were supposed to be playing somebody now you're playing somebody else does that matter so much well, you know I, I, I told the young lady who let me know after practice yesterday that all of a sudden I'm not playing UC Santa Cruz I'm playing Chicago it only affects me because I, I have to watch six seven hours of film now yes like I did yesterday especially a talented team like you know Chicago um, but you know the guys just want to play you know and you know as much as we much time as we put into these scouting reports and film and you know they can only hold and attain so much knowledge in their brains, right? So it's a matter of simplifying things um, and having them and giving them a, a good chance to, 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 to do what they do and what they're good at on the floor. It's kind of a compacted trip. There's not too many days off, right? But what are like the kind of Las Vegasy things that the uh, team's going to get to take part in while well, you guys we, are here? We were lucky enough yesterday with, with not playing yesterday. I took the team to the Hoover Dam, which was a great experience. Um, we went to In-N-Out Burger, which you know, favorite, obviously a favorite chain in the West Coast. Guys wanted to do that, and yeah. took them to the Strip last night, and you know, we ate together as a team, and. Um, had a really nice dinner, and uh, you know we'll do it again Thursday. We're gonna go to movies tomorrow here because you know the facility is great. You got movie theater, bowling alley. Um, so South Point has been very you know gracious as a host, and uh, you know so we'll enjoy it again, and you know continue to do this, man. I, I think for us at the Division Three level, it's about giving these young men the, the best experience we can um, because they are um, they're the ones who make this happen um, financially, and, and it's it's up to us as coaches to to give them the best experience possible, and, and that's what we'll continue to do at, at Maryville College. I wanted to talk to you about, you know, you guys played last year, that last season, you played pretty well, 
right? I think 10 and 2, something like that, over that stretch. What did you guys, you know, did you guys like find out stuff about yourselves or, you know, that sort of thing that helped you kind of hit the ground running this year? Yeah. Good start for you guys. Yeah, I, you know, we won the regular season and the conference tournament championship. That's all we could have last year. And um, those were our goals, right? That was the only thing that was attainable. And, and we did that. And um, you know, just building on that, you know, if, I, if I've learned anything and, you know, I've been coaching now for 16 years, obviously 11 at the collegiate level, but it's about building relationships. And it gave us a great opportunity for the little times that we did have together to really maximize those times together and learn um, a lot about each other. We do an exercise called, it's the three H's, it's, you know, who's your, who's your hero, what's the biggest highlight of your life, and what's been your biggest hardship. And we do that, we've gotten to know each other at great depths a, 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 as a ball club. And I think the more you get to know one another, I think uh, anything is possible on the floor. It's Raul Placeres, head coach at Maryville, his team victorious in the first day of the D3Hoops.com Classic, 74-68 over Pacific Lutheran.